Ambed's video lecture of maths. Today uh, we are going to solve practice 2.1. In yesterday's lecture, we have seen the concept of Roman numerals also. We have seen the rules of writing Roman numerals, right? So today we are going to solve the practice or the examples based on the Roman numerals. Understood? So see a first question, question one. Complete the table. See uh, two rows are there. First row is of Roman numerals and second row is of Hindu Arabic numerals. Okay. And there are some blanks. We, we have to fill those blanks. So see a uh, first in the first column in uh, Hindu Arabic numeral the number is given 90. Okay. And we have to write Roman numerals for it. So you know 90. 90 means what? 90, how to write 90? If you split 90, it will get written this way. 100 minus 10. Understood? 100 minus 10. That is for 100, there is C and there is minus 10. So, its symbol will be written before it. That is XC. So, for 90, we will write XC. Understood? When we write smaller symbol before greater symbol, its value gets subtracted. Remember the rule. So 90 means what? XC. Now see the second. C, X, X, I, V. Now see C, C, X, X, I, V. Now see, C here. C means what? 100. After C, there is X, X. Yes, uh, this uh, value of X is less than value of C. And it is appeared after the greater symbol. So its value will get added in the C. That is 10. Again plus, uh, there is repetition of 10, uh, x, that means plus 10. Now see this iv. Now there is smaller symbol before greater symbol or this i is uh, appeared between two greater symbol, right? So uh, in this case, remember the four, fourth rule. It, is, it will get subtracted from the symbol to its right. So this one will get subtracted, subtracted from v that is 5 minus 1 so we have 100 plus 10 plus 10 20 plus 5 plus minus 1 4 that is 100 plus 20 120 plus 4 124 so c x x i v means 124 understood let's see next here Hindu Arabic numeral is given, that is 133, 133. So first of all, we need to split it into the symbols of Roman numerals we have seen, the seven symbols. So 133 means 100 plus 30 plus 3. Again, 100 plus 30, for 30 we don't have symbol, right? So again we need to split the 30, that is 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 3 also for 3 also we don't have symbol so we need to split it this way 1 plus 1 plus 1 now see for 100 we have c for 10 x x x x okay and for 1 i i i so for 133 we have c x x x i i i Understood? The next, here Roman numeral is given DXL. Now here, remember the rules of Roman numerals. DXL. Now see, D means what? 500. Now see, this X is smaller than D and L. That means, smaller symbol is appeared between two greater symbols, right? So in this case, the smaller symbol is related with the next symbol, L. So this value of x is 10 and value of l is 50. Okay, so in when smaller symbol appear between two greater symbol, it is subtracted. The value of that symbol is subtracted from the value of next symbol. So d write as it is 500 and value of x will uh, x will be subtracted from l. That is 50 minus 10. So 500 plus 50 minus 10, 40. That is DXL means 540. 540. 
got it next hindu arabic numeral is given 329 so first of all we will split it into our uh, symbols of roman numerals 300 plus 20 plus 9 okay again we don't have symbol for this so 300 we will split this way 100 plus 100 plus 100 whereas 20 will be split into 10 plus 10 and 9 means what 10 minus 1 10 minus 1 so c uh, 100 means c this 100 means c this 100 means c 10 10 means x x and 10 minus 1 9 10 minus 1 means when there is 10 minus 1 this value of 1 is written first and then x so triple c x i x that means 329 okay then c c l roman numeral is given c c l repetition of c means addition of their value smaller symbol appear after greater symbol means its value get added l means 50 so 100 plus 100 200 plus 50 250 understood next 545 hindu arabic numeral is, numeral is given 545 so we'll expand it 500 plus 40 plus 5 so in this we know the symbol we know the symbol for 500 also we know, know the symbol for 5 but we don't know the symbol for 40 so 40 will be split into which way 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 no it will be split into this way 50 minus 10 remember 40 90 <coughs> 4, 9, 40, 90, 400, 900. How to write? See, uh, 4. When there is 4, you need to write 5 minus 1. That is IV. When there is 9, you need to write. So when there is 40, you need to write 50 minus 10. See the pattern. That is XL. When there is 400, you need to write this way. 500 minus 100 that is cd correct similarly when there is 9 you need to write i uh, 10 minus 1 that is ix when there is 90 you need to write 100 minus 1 sorry 100 minus 10 that is xc and when there is 900 you need to write 1000 minus 100 that is cm so this, this is the pattern that is uh, see 440 400 or 990 900 how to write them 48 how to write 50 minus 10 plus 5 now see 500 means d 50 minus 10 means when there is subtraction then that small value of that uh, smaller uh, number is written before the greater num no, numeral or greater symbol xl plus v so dxlv 545 means DXL V. DXL V. Understood. Or directly you can keep in mind value uh, the symbol for 40 that is XL. Symbol for 4 IV. Symbol for 400 CD. Symbol for 9 IX. Or combination for 90 XC. Combination for 900 CM. This directly if you keep it in mind that is that will be well and good. Understood. Next Roman uh, Roman numeral is given D L X I. So now here see D means after D is greater, then D means 500, then there is L. L is smaller than D, that is smaller symbol appear after greater symbol, its value gets added. D means 500 plus L means 50 plus X means 10 plus I means 1. See, there is descending order of symbols, so its their value will get added. 500 plus 50 plus 10, 60 plus 161. That is 561. Understood? So, this way we have to write Roman numerals or when uh, 
Roman numerals are given. We have to convert it into Hindu Arabic numerals. Okay. They <coughs> see the second question. Fill in the boxes with greater than, less than, or equal to. Same question, just we have to compare two Roman numerals. For that, we must know the Roman numeral into Hindu Arabic. We need to convert them into Hindu Arabic numerals and then we have to compare. It will be easy for us to compare. See, XL. XL means what? See, smaller symbol is appeared before greater symbol. That means its value will be subtracted from L. Value of X is 10 and value of L is 50. So, 50 minus 10, 40. And LX, see here, smaller symbol is appeared after greater symbol. That means its value will get added. That is LX means 50 plus 10, 60. So in this, which is greater? 60 is greater. That means XL is less than LX. So less than symbol will use this. XL is less than LX. That is 40 is less than 60. Understood? See second one, D. 500 correct xx 20 and vi means 6 526 this is 526 together and here see d means 500 xx means 20 and iv now see iv means what iv means what we have seen 4 that is 524 which, which is greater 526 or 524? 526 is greater. That means greater than symbol. See, DXXVI is greater than DXXIV. Clear? Next, ML and CM. ML means what? M means 1000 and smaller symbol appeared after greater symbol. That means it will get added. 50, that is 1050. And here CM. CM means what? C means is smaller than M. Smaller symbol appeared before greater symbol means its value will get subtracted. That is 1000 minus 100. That is 900. So this is greater, right? See next. 90. This is 90 and this CXII. C means 100. X is smaller than uh, C. So it will get added. Again, I is smaller than 10. So, it's 100 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1. That is 112. So, this is 90 and this is 112. So, this is greater. That's, that means 90 is less than 112. Understood? So, this was the comparison. In this question, next two examples you have to solve as a homework. Then see question number 3. Fill in the boxes. Here, before, after and between. Three columns are there. Some numbers are given and some are blank spaces. We have to fill that blank. See now this L, X, X, V and L, X, X, V, I. Between these two numbers, which number, will, which Roman number will come? Again, we need to convert the Roman numerals into Hindu Arabic so that we, we can understand easily. Now see this L, X, X, V means what? L means 50. XX means 20, right? So 50 plus 20 is 70 and this V, V means 5. So 75. So this is 75. Then after 75 there will be 76. And see here, here must be seven. one more symbol, see. So this L, XX means L means 50, XX means 20 and VII means 7. That is 77. Correct. So here there must be 76. And how to write 76? L, X, X means 70. And for 6, VI. Okay. <coughs> See next. C, X, 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 I, X. C means 100. X, X, triple X means 30 and I, X means 9. See, I, X means 9. So, 139. Then here, there will be 140. Correct? Now, 140 means for 100, C. And for 40, C. We have for 40, X, L. C, X, L. And there is C, X, L. C, X, L, I, 1. Okay, that is 141. 
Here see, there is CXV. CXV means C means 100 and XV. 100 plus 10 plus 5, 115. Then there, here sh there should be 114 before number and after 116. So how to write 114? C. Now 14 means 10 plus 4. 10 means X and 4 means IV. Whereas 116, C. 10 for 10 x, c x 110 and for 6 v i. Understood? So in this column there are two more examples. Complete them according to the given. Okay. After that we will move towards the next question that is question number 4. Let us solve question number 4. Complete the table as shown. Uh, what we have to do here in this question. Here Roman numerals are given, we have to write them into expanded form as we split, split we have seen now. We have to write them in that form, in Hindu Arabic numerals. See, first one is actually it is shown in the textbook. Uh, we will see here L, I, I, I means according to the rule we have to split them. L, C, this is the greater symbol and after that I, I is repeating. That means what the value of I, I, I will get added in the L. Value of L is 50, correct? plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 correct because smaller symbols are appeared after greater symbols that means their value will get added see b1 huh? l i x now see this roman numeral i is smaller than both these l and x and it is appear between appeared between these two greater symbols that means what you know this i, the value of i will get subtracted from next greater symbol. So, 50 l, uh, l means 50 plus i x means what, you know, value of i will get subtracted from value of x, that is value of x is 10 minus 1. So, this can be expanded as this way, 50 plus 10 minus 1, okay. Then c1, example c c x x i now c uh, after c there is x which is smaller so its value will get added c means 100 plus x x repeated means it will uh, it will be added 10 plus 10 again i is smaller than x that means it will be uh, added okay that is 100 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1 d1 c d1 L, V, I. Again, V is smaller than L and I is smaller than V. That means their value will get added. L means 50, V means 5 and I means 1. So, this way we have to write the expanded form of these Roman numerals into Hindu Arabic numerals. Clear? Uh, remaining four examples you have to solve. Uh, this exercise you have to solve in the textbook. Understood? See question number 5. Write the following in Roman numerals. Write the following in Roman numerals, Hindu Arabic numerals are given here and we have to convert them into Roman numerals. Now see here, 175, first of all we need to expand 175 this way and then we have to convert it into Roman numeral. It is easy to get accurate Roman numeral or accurate, accurate composition of Roman numerals. 175 means what? 100. 175 means what? 100 plus 70 plus 5. So if you see this, we know symbol for 100, we know symbol for 5. But what is symbol for 70? We don't know. Again, we need to split the 70. 100 plus 70 means what? 50 plus 10 plus 10, right? plus 5 because we know the symbol for 50, we know the symbol for 10, we know the symbol for 10 this. So 100 means C, 50 means L, 10, 10 means X, X and V. So this is the answer C, L, X, X, V that is 175. Similarly 192. So 100 plus 90 plus 2. 100 means C. Now directly think about 90. What is the what will be the symbol for 90? There is not a single symbol. 90 means what? C here. 100 minus 10 that is XC. So 90 means XC and for 2 II. Understood? 
1000 we have m for 100 we have c m c and for 70 we don't have for 70 but what 70 means what 50 plus 10 plus 10 that is l x x l x x this is 70 50 plus 10 plus 10 70 m c l x x that is 1170 okay for 1240 1000 plus 200 plus 40 now for 1000 we have m for 200 directly for 200 there is no symbol but 200 means what 100 plus 100 that is c c so 200 means what c c for 40 again directly there is no symbol for 40 but how to write 40 50 minus 10 that is x l c here 40 means what x l so m c c x l that is 1240 next 375 375 means 300 plus 70 plus 5 again for 300 we don't have special symbol but 300 means what 3 times 100 and we can repeat 3 times c that is for 100 c c c for 70 what we have written here see 50 plus 10 plus 10 that is l plus l x x and for 5 v so c c c l x x v that is 375 490 400 plus 90 Again, there are no special symbols for 490, but how to com compose 400, 500 minus 100, that is CD, C before D, and 90, 100 minus 10, that is XC, so CD, XC, that is 490, so this way we can write Roman numerals into, uh, so this way we can convert Hindu Arabic numerals into Roman numerals, understood? Pause this video and write this in the textbook. See question number 6. Write the following into Hindu Arabic numerals. Now here Roman numerals are given and we have to convert them. We have to write them into Hindu Arabic numerals. See here how to write. First one is CCLX. Now if you see here, all here there is repetition of symbol. That means here value will get added. Again, remaining two symbols are also in descending order. Means after C, this is C is greater than L and L is greater than X. That means X is smaller than L, L is smaller than C. That means what? When smaller symbol appeared after the greater symbol, so their value gets added. So you see, C, C means 100 plus 100, 200 plus L means 50 plus X means 10. That is 200 plus 50 plus 10. 50 plus 10, 60 and 200, 260. Understood. C, D, X. Now see here. C, D, X. C is appeared before D. C is less than D and it is appeared before. That means its value will get subtracted from D. That is C, D means what? D minus, D, uh, D means 500 and minus 100. Plus x means what 10. Now 500 minus 100, 400 plus 10, that is 410. Understood what we have done? C is uh, value of C is less than value of D. And as a, since C is appeared before D, so its value, uh, value will get subtracted from value of D. That is D means 500 minus C means 100. So we have got here 400. I can see CD means what? 400. So this 440, 400, 990, 900 fit in your mind, fix in your mind because these are the confusing uh, confusing uh, Roman numerals. So if you rem remember, recite this properly, fix in your mind properly, then uh, you can write, you can convert Ian. Roman numerals into Hindu Arabic numeral or Hindu Arabic into Roman easily very easily okay so see next M C L X now see M is greater than C C is greater than L L is greater than X so they are in descending order that means their value will get added 
M means what? 1000. C means 100. L means 50. And X means 10. So 1000, 150 plus 10, 60. 1160. Is that easy? Yes. Now see X bar D, C, X, X, X. Again, these are also into descending order. Smaller symbols are appearing after greater symbols. That means here also the value will get added. But here there is one more. Remember the rule of bar. Bar over any symbol. That means what? Multiply by 1000. So value of your X bar means value of X is 10 will multiply it by 1000. Plus D means 500 plus C means 100 plus x x x means 10 plus 10 plus 10 that is 100 uh, 1000 tens are 10,000 500 plus 100 600 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 30 that is 10,630 10,630 this is Hindu Arabic numeral for X bar D C X X X. Next V bar C L X. Again these are also into descending order. These Roman symbols or Roman numerals are symbols in these Roman numerals are into descending order. So value will get added. V bar. V bar means bar over V means 5 into 1000. Plus C means 100. L means 50. X means 10. So, 5, 5 into 1000 means 5000 plus 100 plus 50 plus 10, 60. That is 5160. 5160. 5, okay. Then see next. D, C, X, L. Are they into, are, are there all symbols, symbols into descending order? No. See here. X is smaller than L. X is appeared before L. So, XL means what? XL. XL means what? Nothing but 40. L means 50 and X is before L. That means minus 10. D means 500. C means 100. XL means 40. That is 50 minus 10. So, it will be 500 plus 100, 600 plus 50 minus 10, 40. <coughs> 640. Okay, so this way we can convert or we can write Roman numerals into Hindu Arabic numerals. See question number 7. Uh, before that remaining examples from this question you have to solve by yourself. Next question, observe the given pattern and cross out the incorrect numeral. So see here some Roman numerals are given. Group of Roman numerals is given here but uh, Actually, they are given according to the pattern, specific pattern, but there is one odd, uh, odd number odd. The, no, there is one number which is not suitable in this group or for this pattern. Which one is that? We have to find out and we have to cross it. Let's do it. Uh, for these to identify the pattern, if you are identifying directly, ident uh, identifying directly in the Roman numeral, it's well and good. But you are unable to identify into the Roman numerals directly. Convert them into Hindu Arabic numeral. L means what? 50. Correct. LV means 50 and 5. 55. LX means 50 plus 10. That is 60. LXV means 50 plus 10 plus 5. 65. LXXX means 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. That is 80. Now see. 50, 55, 60, 65, then here must be, there must, must have 70, but there is 80. That means this one is odd one. So cross it. Okay. Next, <coughs> C means what? 100. XC, XC means 10 before 100, that is 90. XCI, now see XC means 90 and I means 91. 91. LXXX means 80. LXX means 70. So 100, 90, 91, 80, 70. Which one is odd? 
Here must be 80, no? 100 minus 10, 90, 90 minus 10, 80, 80 minus 10, 70. So this, this one is odd number. Cross it, okay? Then in the third, this is 2. Then IV means 4. V, I, I, I means 8, correct? 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, 8. X, V, I, X means 10. V means 5, I means 1. 10 plus 5 plus 1, 16. And X, X, X means 30. I, I, I means 3, 33. So see here, 2, 4, 8, 16, 33. Which one is odd? Have you got the pattern here? See, 4 means what? 2, 2 is a 4. Again, 4, 2 is a 8. Again, 8, 2 is a 16. Then here, 16, 2 is a. 16 to the here must be 32. 16 to the 32, but there is 33. So, this one is odd. Understood? So here our practice 2.1 is completed as well as the lesson Roman numeral is also completed. If you have any doubt regarding with the lesson uh, chapter Roman numerals, you can ask me on WhatsApp. Uh, remaining examples or remaining means the examples which we have skipped or gear, the, uh, those are given for homework you have to solve by yourself. Okay? So thank you and have a nice day.